The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. This episode of Good Times with Mo the Podcast is brought to you by Globe. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex. And more sex are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. All right, welcome to the podcast. Nice to be back here, man. Want to call us is 478-7954. Skype the Good Times Podcast. You can text us 0927-214-1981. My name is Mo, and on the program tonight, it's nice to have him back. Really, really nice guy. I mean, really fucking. Idiot. I, I mean, you probably could ask Pico when, when we're talking uh, on the show, usually with a guest before the program. You can tell I'm kissing ass with this guy, right? Because I mean, just, he's just such a <laughs> yeah, good dude. Man. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like awesome. I he's treat you cool. so well. I'm not not to say that to give myself credit. I treat you so well because I lo- I want to because I really really like this guy. So I appreciate let's it. have him back on the show. Uh, Guji Lorenzana. Guji, Hi, thanks for back. Thanks for being back here, man. Thank you. I, I think it's because you're smart. You're really friendly. Like. You know, you're everything I want to be, but I can't because I'm loud and obnoxious <laughs> and stuff like that. But I feel like you can be obnoxious if you really, really had I, to. I can. But generally, yeah. yeah, but generally you're going to be a really stand-up guy. No, and, and I, I appreciate you. I, I, I look up to you also, man. So oh, thanks. It's, 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 oh, it's, a, it's reciprocated. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hey, cool. Yeah. But still, you're the better person, and people know that. That's all. <laughs> well, like, you can look up to me all you want. You're still the better dude. No, I just think that you're maybe you're more, you're more outspoken maybe, and you're not afraid sure. to t- tell people what's really up. And a lot of people don't. Yeah, know but that. fuck, you sing. You're good looking. I mean, let's just stop. Like that's just in the personality part. But then you, you get into the fucking stuff like like talents and skills, and you still kick my ass there. So I mean, <laughs> I just you're all. I, I mean, not to start the show on in the super like man crush thing. I'm just saying this is a good dude. Well, thanks, he's talented. Thank he's you. all that. He's smart. And I like him. That's all. All right. So life's life's good. I mean, your your New Year's good. I mean, yeah. we haven't seen you since the last year. I know. I've been wanting to come back for the longest time, and I and I and I, and I love your show. So. I'm I'm really back, glad to be back, you know, and it's 2014, so everything's new. So, uh, yeah. yeah, good stuff. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, let's start with Trisha, who's 18. Trisha, you're in Pasig on line five. What do you got, baby doll? Hello? Trisha? Yes. Hello? Hello? Hi, Trisha. What's up? Hi, hi. Hey. What do you got? Okay, I have a question. <clears throat> It's about uh, guys who's not circumcised. <laughs> okay, what about them? <laughs> like, if if a girl fucked a guy that's not circumcised, is there anything bad that's gonna happen to the girl? No. Well, you you kind of have to think about the logic behind all of this. There's a good part of the world that's not circumcised yeah. because they don't they don't circumcise for whatever reason, religious, cultural, mm-hmm. personal choice. And and if 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 that were to be true that something bad happens to a girl because they have an uncircumcised penis in them, then you'd you'd also hear stories of a large population of women are just dropping dead because their boyfriend's dicks have a cover on them. Right. So if you use that logic, then it almost gives you that answer that no, just because they're 
not circumcised has nothing there's nothing really wrong with that there are going to be issues though i mean let's let's be realistic the circ- the uncircumcised penis will tend to tend not always smell, smell. a little more bacteria right yeah. because of the bacteria build up yeah you yeah, might you so might gonna... not you might not enjoy giving him a blowjob you know exactly because there might be a considerable stench there from a lot of that residue piss that gets caught there That's and right. the bacteria and stuff like that. That's why if you're not circumcised, you really almost mandatory have to do a lot of more maintenance on your penis mm-hmm. than a guy like myself. Uh, Gucci, I don't know if you're circumcised. I'm but, circumcised. You know, yeah, yeah mo- most of us are in, in, you know, as being Filipinos and stuff like that. So <laughs> you're going to have to do a lot more hygiene control and all of that. So blowjobs – Tend to be less appealing, but yeah. you know some girls don't really give a fuck. This some guys keep it really clean that they, you can't really tell the difference. And when the dick's hard anyway, it comes out. It kind of still looks the Normal. same. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're jackhammering that fucking with your hand and pushing that skin back up, <laughs> you, it, it generally still looks about the same. However, again, if there's one turn off, it really would be the, the hygiene thing. Yeah, the, the smell. When I got a dick in my mouth, that circumcised is kind of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just skin just gets all well, well, the way. Yeah, yeah it's, just, it's, it's on my teeth. It's, it's awful. <laughs> um, but, but Trisha White, are you about to fuck a guy who's not circumcised? I did. You did. Are you still alive and and functioning properly? Yeah, I think I am. Um, yeah. Well, there I, mean, you go. I am. How long ago was this? How long did you guys fuck? Huh? How long ago? What? Yeah. When was this? The last one. Yeah. Or, Whoa, wow. Sorry. Several, several okay, yes, uncircumcised yeah. dicks. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> when was the last time you had an uncircumcised dick in your mouth? Yeah. What? I when was the last time? I can't hear you. <laughs> No, that's your brain doesn't process us. Is what it is. <laughs> uh, when was the last time this happened? Yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, okay. did you smell anything that we're talking about? Um, not sure. <laughs> You're not sure. Were you drunk? You see the yeah, see the process thing I'm talking about. Because when I have sex when I'm drunk, sometimes I don't really, I can't smell their bad breath and I can't taste sometimes the... He doesn't smell, actually. Or maybe he just took a bath. You're sure. Kaya ganun. Yeah, okay. Ba. Was it good? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Hey, rock on. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on keeping on. Yeah. You're doing fine. You're doing a good job, Great love. Good job. Now, how many, how many uncircumcised penises have you had sex with in your 18 years of existence? Um, oh, different. Uh, no one, lang, one guy, but ah. a lot of times with him. Okay, is he European? Australian. Ooh, nice, nice. Right. I know. Boy, boyfriend, mo. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, boyfriend. Okay. Boyfriend. Is he your boyfriend? You. You're welcome. I actually don't know. <laughs> so you're so weird. <laughs> Maybe that's what you should be asking us. Okay. Well, one last question that we got to go. Uh, eight times seven in simple mathematics. What do you got? Well, there you go. You see that? Yeah, there you go. But that's a hard there. one, man. Oh, it's... it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I just built you up about how much I like you and all that. Stuff. You can tell me that's a hard one? Eight it's, times seven is the most difficult of the simple is. Mathematic, uh, mathematics. You, you, you I, have I, to... Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, it, it's tough. It's, tough. it's 56. Hold on. Hey, uh, <laughs> Trisha, 8 times 7. Oh, are you guys done to me? I'm so sorry. 8 times 7 is... Fuck. <laughs> it's 56. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> Rock on. All right, Trisha. Thanks for the call, baby. I'm so doll. sorry. I just can't really hear you properly. Sure. No worries. Okay. Thank you. Go, Bye-bye. Go, go to Have school, okay? All right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, no. Listen, I, I, this is my inside joke. We, we, we throw this out all the time. The eight times seven because yeah. the success rate is so is so small. Is. But you know, half of it is my fault because I know it is the mo- the more difficult one, if not the most difficult of the simple math mathematic. Uh, I guess what uh, uh, time equations tables? or whatnot. Yeah. It, it, yeah, the timetables. It's it's a tough one. It is eight times seven is tough, but it's still 
at the same time, not we the the all time high we had. I think it was on this podcast. So okay, every time I ask people eight times seven, they but eighty five percent of them get it wrong, right? Yeah. And then there was this one girl that was so dumb that not only did I just ask eight times seven, I asked eight plus seven, and she still got it fucking wrong. Oh my god! So those are our listeners. Just saying. Yeah. Well, but I love you guys. Yeah. Just saying. I love you guys too. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, did you know that eight times seven was fifty six? <laughs> no, what I did was, and this is my this is the truth. What I did was is because I couldn't think of it right away. I thought of eight times eight, sixty four. Then I minus eight. Ah, yeah. yeah, smart. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. I think another one of the difficult ones. Nine times eight is is pretty difficult at times. Nine, nine is, times seven. Nine isn't that. Nine isn't. Sometimes. Nine's are not not that hard. I don't know. If I, the way I think is, uh, you, I go. It's it's in at seventy two, right? Yes, it is. It is. Yeah, nine, times, nine, times eight. nine times eight. Eight minus one is seven, so that's going to be a 70 number. And then plus two is nine. See? Does that make wow. sense? No? Yeah, it's just a long pro- – like, I just know it because I know it. But if, if, I, yeah, if I didn't know it, then I could use that. Sure. I don't know. That's, I guess that's the way my, my mind thinks, but I, I always think yeah. in the process for some reason. So, but it does take you a while then to give the answer. I mean, a little slower than most, I would um, say. Yes? No? Depends. Depends what. Or you do it so fast that it's fun. Yeah, I think it probably just works so fast in my mind. But just that's oh. the way my mind processes it. Processes it. Wow, yeah. really? I just do it out of more like memory. I just memory. Like I just know nine, t- nine times eight is seventy two. Just I, I, I don't, I, I don't think I ever kind of fix it in my head. It's just more I've been trained to memorize that. That's what the, that's what it is. Yeah, and I know there's probably but some so, psychological thing. I mean, it's probably like what what part of the brain you use and what part of the brain I use. I'm, I'm sure it's a different. No, but I like your that. way because then you're still using your brain. Like I'm only just <laughs> accessing a part of my brain. You're actually a, there's, there's there's stuff logic. going on. There's a logic. Yeah. That's happening. No, right. I like that. Yeah. Well, That's good shit, man. Well, thank you yeah. so much. I, I wish I could yeah, do what you right. do, though. Well, no. I, well, seven times six is hard. What do you got? Seven times six. Seven times six. Uh, see, I have to, I have to process it. See, do that shit. Go. Seven times seven. Come on, do it. Yeah. Right. Seven think, times six is... Yeah. How about... That's 30... Six times six, That's six, six, 42. Absolutely. There you go. Because see? six times seven A little slower is, than usual. Yeah. yeah. But fine. Well, it's not no like I use it every day. You know? I mean... That's true. I used to be a teacher at one point, so I had to use it all the time. But... Oh, wow. You were. Yeah. But guess what? Guess what I taught? I taught religion. I didn't teach what? Math. Yeah. High school, college, um, first grade. Nice. And what, what does that entail? Oh, shit, we got. I mean, I know this is a college, <laughs> but what the fuck is that, man? What's that like? Teaching religion to to you know grade well, one. The, the thing is, I mean, um, I mean, I'm, I probably, fans are probably going to see this and like think when otherwise about me. But the thing is, I'm, I believe I'm a spiritual person, more of a spiritual person now than I ever was in my life. But sure. I, and I and I don't really. I go to Catholic church because that's my cult, that's my part of my custom and part of my culture and how I grew up. But I don't yeah. necessarily believe in everything about it anymore. Only because I was a teacher at one point. And when you have all these kids asking you questions that you can't answer, because you know that you, the way you're answering them is probably the wrong answer, um, and then you you kind of get discouraged about about that. Uh, about, oh, I'm, I, I completely you know what I mean? understand that. So, what are some of the harder questions that a grade one kid would ask you regarding well, religion? One of the questions they would ask me was. Um, um, like that, there's a baby that uh, we heard that a baby died. Are they going to go to hell or heaven? You know, um, because they haven't found God yet. So, what does that mean? Or, or uh, my friend is Chinese and he's Buddhist. Is he going to go to hell? You know, wow. th- things like yeah, that. That's tough, man. Well, what do you tell a kid? What do you tell that kid? Like, that's right. Yeah, because they have to find God and they have to be Catholic. And, you know, my, my thing when I was growing up was why do I have to pray for what I need and want when he already knows everything? Yeah, yeah well, what, there we go. That's, that's another yeah. one too. Yeah, we we say all knowing, all this, all everything. So why 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 am I filling in some blanks when he is already all? Yeah, yeah. With, with these prayers, you know, stuff like that. That's the question I would ask when I was a little kid, and I'd always bug people about that. But yeah, and then you know, I would say like, so what about the Jews when they got concentration camp? They died f- because they believed in something, yeah. you know, and they believed in you. Not yeah. maybe not your son, but they certainly believed in, and they freaking willingly died for it mm-hmm. but they're not gonna go to heaven because they're jewish you know uh, then yeah the teacher would kind of be like hey listen eight times seven you little shit yeah that's what i would get yeah all right yeah, yeah. But, i mean yeah. do I'm, the eight times seven thing it shuts them up it does shut them up <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> works really well all right let's uh let's go to mike who is wait hold on should we go mike yeah let's go to my uh, uh, okay let's go to mike on line five who's in singapore hi mike hi Mo. what wow. do you got buddy yeah, uh, actually, I'm falling in love with my friend, this guy. He's a straight guy. 
and sure. I'm not. Okay. And actually, he visited me here in Singapore for six days, and we travel here in Singapore. Uh, who I used to be like his uh, tour guide, and actually, uh, I make it a point we go to somewhere else uh, in Indonesia, and then I, I fall in love with him because of the experience of travel. Yeah, does he know you're gay? Yeah, he doesn't know you're he gay. He does. Yes, he does. He okay. knows. Okay. All right. Did you feel? Did you? Did he do anything romantic with you? Like, did you? Did you feel any, any, anything that you know he was giving you any signs, or 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 did you just have a good time that you're just falling in love? Actually, uh, we just this is the third time we met because he is actually a classmate of my cousin, mm-hmm. and then uh, this is the third time he just. He shot me in the Facebook account and he just said that I'm going there in Singapore, just tour me. And then I said, yes, sure, I'll, I'll just tour you. And then after that, uh, I'm just actually chatting him that I don't like you. And then I said, hashtag, ha, ha, ha. but it's a private message in the Facebook account that I'm not, uh, I'm, I don't like you. But uh, during the travel, I was fall to him. Why did you feel like it was necessary for you to send him a message that you didn't like him? Because I'm just clearing to him everything that I don't like him. But during that time, because I, I really used to have a trouble body, and then I tried to him. Did not try to show him trouble body, pero na follow up sa niya. Pero walang roman din na nangyari because. Uh, I talked to him like, like na, you know what, we're inside the hotel room together and then nandito yung temptation and then I don't like na may because I want to give you. Okay, so what's the question? Mm-hmm. And I'm falling in love with him and then I know how to stop myself falling in love with him. You don't. You just, you did it. I mean, you spend time with a guy, you enjoy his company. You, you know, it, it happens, right? Attraction happens. Uh, maybe you shouldn't. Here's what, here's what you should do. Maybe you shouldn't say falling in love because it's such a strong word. I mean, yeah, it's it a strong a phrase to say. Okay. I'm fall- you can be attracted to a lot of people for a variety of reasons and for a bunch of experiences you have with them. But try to rephrase these things that are going on in your head. And it might, I mean, I'm not sure if this is going to happen. It's just because when you say the way you say it, like you're so passionately in love with this guy. And then I'm going to tell you, well, what have you experienced with him? Oh, I toured him around the fucking yeah. night safari. I'd be like, well, how about you have a crush along on him? It might even be easier for you to cope with the fact that you're never going to date this guy. Right? I, I, Gucci, does, does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, yeah, just yeah. put it out of your mind. I mean, if it's not going to happen anyway, then don't think about it. It could have been all uh, all innocent. Uh, I mean, he, he probably went there because you were a friend of his friends that said, you know what, this guy's really nice. Uh, give him a call in Singapore. He could probably tour you around. It could be just like that. But there's yeah. part of me that, that kind of thinks that maybe this guy's bisexual or something. Why? Because the alone in the hotel room part and, and yeah, whatnot? Yeah, the, the alone in the hotel room. And then, um, did wait, uh, let me ask first. Did, you, did, did he reply to your message about yeah, him not question. liking you? Like, like, uh, like, like uh, respond to uh, Yeah, he said, Alam ko. Parang he said that I, I knew it. He don't like me. And then... Um, Pero in a joking way. But oh. ang, ang twist nito, because I said, uh, let's, pause, let's pause our picture on, the, in, on Instagram and Facebook. And... Gusto kasi mag-sweet revenge to all the people na, alam yun na, na nakit ng puso. <laughs> and then, all, to all my friends kasi are actually asking me, oh, how many, how months ka na dyan sa Singapore? How many months ka na dyan there in Singapore? Tapos, may love life ka na ba? I'm, napipressure ako with that. So, our, my press release is, he's my oh, boyfriend Jesus. now. <laughs> ah. And he was okay? <laughs> he's okay with that? Bahala daw ako kung ano gusto ko, pero wag ko daw ilalagay sa wall niya. Mm. Uh, he sounds like a cool dude, because I would say that too. I'd be like, hey, fuck it. I don't give a fuck with you right there. That's yeah. fine. Go ahead. Whatever. Shit. But, I'm not, but, yeah, but I'm not gay. Um, here's what it is, buddy. Here's what I get from you, uh, Mike Singapore, is that mm-hmm. you really just, 
you take this love thing, which most people should take seriously, you take it to a new level of like, like just, let's just think about the stories that, hey, can I take a picture with you as a revenge for all the heartbreaks I've had? Like, you really live this part, you know? Yeah. Um, okay. you're, you're, you're the romantic comedy movie guy with, the, with the, yeah. all of the dramas on TV you take so fucking personally. I think you need to relax a little bit about that. And that's where all okay. of these phrases of I'm falling in love with him after touring him around Singapore come from. It's you it's really a, it's Hollywood. It's a movie thing. It's ideal yeah, it's idealism. It, it it's so it's so like it means so much to you. And and I don't want to take that away because it might like add yeah. joy to your life, but it also gonna hurt it's also gonna hurt you a lot. That's right, that's right. Yeah. 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 And it's going to confuse you and stuff like that. Remember, you know, when you, when you say something like, this is a fuck you to all the people who've broken my heart, nobody cares that much. So what? You posted a photo of that fucking guy. Like, if I was your ex-boyfriend, I'd be like, I don't give a fuck. It's not, it doesn't feel like revenge to me because it's not. You're, okay. you're making this scenario up in your mind that everything revolves around love and past love and future love and this and that and love. And it's like, no, you know what the, the world revolves around when you're our age, Michael, is... Your job, the ability to get money, yes, your 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 significant other, but it's also mixed in with a bunch of other things. Yeah, it seems like your world just kind of functions only with relationships and love and all of that stuff, and that's great. But you're gonna get fucked over in the end, and you're gonna start feeling weird feelings in in places maybe you shouldn't be. You shouldn't yeah. be coming up with revenge plans for people. <laughs> Who you can't even identify. Yeah, they, uh, and you shouldn't be falling in love with people that you're just kind of touring around. You can have a crush on them, and that's normal. That's normal and yeah. it's easier to jump out of that. Oh, how long have you been in Singapore, Mike? Uh, six months. Six months. Uh, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? 29. 29. How long have you been out gay? I don't know. Since birth, I think. Since, since birth. So, Dave, your family's always known everything. You haven't had a problem with it. Because, because the way I think of it is I, I can understand maybe. I'm not gay, but I can understand that maybe you've had, you know, had difficulties with being gay. And now that you're in a new place, you don't have very many friends over there in Singapore and you've only been there six months, you're going to find yourself attaching to your, yourself to somebody. Especially, you're going to think you're falling in love with all them. My suggestion is be in Singapore. Uh, try and have a good time. Don't fall in love. Just meet a lot of people over there. You've been there for six months. Have a have a good time. You're gonna meet somebody over there. Don't. And and I feel like be a friend with benefits. Start fucking a yeah. variety of That's, people. Well, That's a lot kind of, of fun. Do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Hey, get yourself a Tinder or okay. Grinder yeah, or go one on of these apps. Yeah. Get 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 an app where you can go out and kind of hoard it up a little yeah. bit. I mean, yeah, maybe I knew it. it'll. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, it'll can I say help something? you. Yeah. Go. Um, congratulations to this show because I've been downloading this for how, for for a long time and uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit oh, thank you. Thank be you. careful <laughs> by the end of this call yeah go quickly and mic. go huh Mike Mike did you say last yeah. question or <laughs> question <laughs> question Ah. Anag blush. Uh, oh. No, no, sorry. And it doesn't mean that he h- hates you or you need revenge or any of those yeah. things. He just, yeah, yeah he's just, that's not, that's not his thing. Okay? Okay, sure. All right, relax. Come on, Mike. You're 29. Let's go. You're not fucking 15 anymore. Yeah. Let's see. You're acting like a 15 year old schoolgirl. Let's go. <laughs> okay. You're 29. Okay? All right, buddy. Sure. Thanks for the call. Sure. All right, we got a lot of calls, like all storming in right now. So we are good. packed. Uh, Gucci Lorenzana is here. Yes, we will take everybody. more of those calls. Four seven eight seven nine five four. Skype the Good Times Podcast. You can text us your nine two seven two one four nineteen eighty one. Again, a bunch of questions lined up after this commercial break. So stick around. Don't go away. It's Good Times with the podcast. Brought to you by Globe. See you guys in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. What's your status? Everything looks great, HQ. CDCP looks fine. Remember, your powers come from the signal feeds from cell towers, so make sure you stay within reach. I'll be fine, HQ. There are more than 7,000 globe cell sites scattered across country. See? I see one right there. (sighs) 
What's the problem over there? I'll go check it out. Be careful, Agent CT. If you need any assistance... HQ. Agent... H HQ, do you read me? Respond, Agent CT. Do you copy? What's your status? Agent, do you copy? Do you copy? Where am I? There seems to be no signal that we're in this village. My signal senses are tingling. What to do? What to do? Aha! I know! Agency! Oh, yeah. I forgot. I don't have powers here. Normal citizen! Normal citizen! Secure permission. Secure permission to the Homeowners Association meeting. Homeowners Association office. Excuse me. Okay, on to other issues. Um, cell phone signals. We're here to answer questions. Oh, great. Just a proper form. Let's go. We finalized today. Any more concerns? Uh, yes. Good afternoon, all. On cell sites. We need to set up a cell site within this village. Your laptops, your cell phones, your tablets. They feed on signal for them to work. You see, it does not even have to look like a cell site. It just has to look like it belongs. Oh. But what about the health risks? Yeah, Fear not. Risk? Several studies show that the radio frequency signals used by these cell sites do not affect your health. It's just like the frequency used by baby monitors, AM and FM radios, your Wi-Fi, completely harmless. Think about That's it. Exactly what we Without wireless communication, how will you stay updated? How will you talk to your loved ones who are abroad? Yeah. How will you remind your kids to take care and to come home early? That's right. We need a cell site. I agree. I'm going to call my father now. Yeah. That's exactly what we need. No, thank you, random citizen. I want a cell site right now! I agree! Super Agent CD! See? True power lies within each citizen. Signal connects us. Together, we will make more villages a more comfortable place to live in. I guess my mission here is done. Oh, great. We thought we lost you, Agent CT. That's Super Agent CT now! On um, Two Girls, One Cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our topics from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> the show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and the dick on Nicole's head. Um, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eichenmann? I would. <laughs> Cisco, because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cisco. Uh, truth or dare? 
Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, that show! It's that show, Barry. Oh, that show. Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina? And... Like a double blowjob. Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro. Vagina. Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. Go. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. So she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program with my new hero, Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by Globe. Phone number 478 Skype is Good Times Podcast. You can text us here 927-214-1981. Sitting here, and I really admire this fellow. I'm telling you, uh, I, Pico and I, we're just sitting off air. We're just like, dude, you're the man. You're the fucking man, Gucci. Now, ah. for, for just because of all the skills and talents and <laughs> personality he brings to this world, right? Right, Pico? Is it? Man, you, you guys, look at our lives. It's like yeah, sucks, no, it sucks, right? Sucks, you guys man. just blowing me up right now. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, this fucking blows. I gotta get in whatever you're getting into. All right, <laughs> let's uh, let's keep this keep the show going. I'm getting a lot of questions about this recent uh, cyber like uh, libel law. But, uh, can somebody fill me in? I, I I was in New Orleans for the for the uh, All Star Game and then the Mardi Gras this yesterday, so I, I missed these past couple of days of what's going on. What and sh- I, I know you're not feeling well, but what the fuck is all this going on here? I've been getting a lot of tweets about it as well for people asking my opinion. Can you enlighten me? 
Yeah, and just tell us about it. Yeah, cybercrime law is uh, constitution already. The Supreme Court upheld the decision already. So in the Philippines, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, 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 what, spanning what again? Like, what, what are we looking at here? Online libel, online libel. Yeah, like for example, like w- w- like how bad is it? Is it like where where they said that if you retweet somebody's tweet, you're gonna get in trouble too? I mean, remember all when all of this crazy talk happened when it first when the idea first came out? Where are we on this? Hmm? It's a source that will get into trouble. Oh, okay. Not so I can retweet libel is shit and I'm going to be fine. Okay. Uh, it's up to you. Go ahead. <laughs> Try it. Yeah, but I can, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that, that's the point. But dude, It's not like I'm going to retweet. I'm going to probably be the source and then people are going to be retweeting. But, I just want to make sure that if I come up with a great joke that's libelous that I'm still going to get retweets because that's all that matters. Yeah, but everything is so mani- manipulated in the, in the internet. You can retweet anything or you can pretend to retweet something. I mean... Yeah, you know what's funny is because I love how young people always think that this is a big deal. It's like, oh my God, Mo, ingat ka na lang. Like, Anne just yeah. sending me messages, Mo, pst, ingat ka, putang ina, ingat sa podcast. You know, matadamay tayo dito. And I'm like, why? <laughs> there's, a, there's a new law, cyber libel law, putang ina, super. And I'm like, you mean like all the other laws that never get, invo- never get enforced? Yeah. Let me remind everyone, Republic Act 6713, what does it say? Public officials must, leave, must lead modest lives. These people have <laughs> fucking, fucking Escalades and Audi R8s, and they're just running around bawling. Yeah. There are laws. How many of them actually get fucking enforced? Such a sh- small amount. Plus, this one is so incredibly difficult to enforce. Yeah. It's, Who are we not to say that, oh, that's not my account. My account got hacked. Yeah, exactly. But I'm going to be... Exactly. I'm, 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 the guy, somebody stole my password. Mm-hmm. Somebody fucking in. What, what do you want me to do? I'm going to go to jail now? I'm yeah. going to go to jail for three years because somebody got offended from a tweet? I didn't tweet that. Yeah. Somebody else tweeted that. That's not my account. That's a fake account. I'm a celebrity. A, yeah, there's a Tinder account with my name on it. Who the hell is that? Yeah, who the fuck? That's somebody's face on there yeah. with someone's name. That's not me. <laughs> It's like, and then when, oh no, we traced it back to you with IP. IP? Okay, hey, don't do it on your computer at home. Do it on your phone. Mm-hmm. You can't get traced there. Exactly. Or get 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 a fucking IP blocker. They're well, they're everywhere. You can buy one. It's what, uh, seven hundred pesos maybe. If I if I was gonna guess that's, the amount, that's right. I even have one you know, for my uh, for my Xbox so that I can watch yeah. those freaking movies that are brought. That's right. Yeah. Throw put it on your fucking computer. All of a sudden, your IP's bouncing off four or five different countries. That's right. It's like, relax, everybody. Yeah, it sucks. It's stupid. It's laughable. It's comic. Mm-hmm. But yet, you have to re- realize, what country are we living in? A country where you put out a law that I can't smoke here, and I'm going to fucking light up in front of the guy who tells me I can't do it. Yeah. That's why that's Starbucks the country lost we live in. <laughs> yeah, that's the country <laughs> we live in, man. The, relax, young people. I know it's a law, but just saying. Relax a little bit. There are a lot of laws out there that are fucking just no one here. You know what? Do me a favor. Tweet, send me a sample tweet of something incredibly libelous, and I'm going to tweet it out right now. And Just I'll, and I'll retweet it too. Yeah, there, well, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. See, you and I, good team. <laughs> All right, let's go to line six and talk to Maine. Hi, Maine. You're 18 years old, and you sound super hot. Gosh, Maine? Why are you guys all so young? I know, oh, right? Hi. But it's okay. It's still within range. Yeah. Um, hi, Maine. How can we help you? Hi. Oh, hey. hi. Hi. Oh. Okay, wait. My dad is here. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Yeah. Oh, your dad she is there. Is... Oh. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm she's sorry. From she's from Quezon City. Mm-hmm. You know she's super hot too, man. See, this is hot girl behavior. This is like yeah, they... hot girls are like this. They sound hot and they're lazy. It's like, <laughs> hello, yeah, hi. hey, listen. Okay, wait, hold on. My dad's here. Well, not my dad's. Just oh, yeah. yeah I, I want you to wait for me while I'm just kind of hanging out. Here. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Maine. Hi. I'm sorry for that. That's okay. Okay, Maine, which local celebrity do you most resemble? Oh my god, I get that a lot. I mean, yeah, I sometimes know, I look I know like that. Andy Eigenman. Andy Eigenman. All right. Yeah, yeah. cool with that. What's your yeah, Twitter? Yeah. yeah, what's your Twitter? Oh, hold on, we'll get that in a little while. What's your question? <laughs> okay, well. What? What's your question? My question? Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Okay, fine. Because right now, I'm in a relationship. That's okay. Damn it. <laughs> okay. And then my boyfriend has this ex-girlfriend who's always sulpot ng sulpot. Sure. <laughs> Does she make two sok, two sok on the fish bowl? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, continue. 
And then it's like, it's hard for me because this ex-girlfriend is actually my boyfriend's first love. And I'm like, oh no, I think I'm, I put myself in a trap because I'm leaving for New York for six months to study art. And then, and then this thing came along, like, I knew that this girl is um, just spying on my boyfriend and like looking for the right timing to, you know, umatake Jump like in, that. Yeah. <laughs> for when you yeah. leave, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. So, yeah, my dilemma right now is if I'm going to leave or if I'm going to stay in Manila. Or, like, okay, so, whoa, 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 whoa. You're 18 uh, years old. Yeah, Maine, relax. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking young people. God damn it. Relax. <laughs> You do not, do not lose an opportunity to study in yes. New York for X amount of months yes. over a boyfriend when you're a fucking teenager. That's right. I will beat you down. I will libelly cyber fucking <laughs> shit you if, you if you decide not to go to New York over this guy. Yeah. You better go. Gosh, you have an opportunity and in fact, of a lifetime. Yeah, in fact... If if he if you're worried about his girlfriend jumping in while you're gone, he should be worrying about, about all that fucking fine ass guys you that see it, in New yeah. York when you get there. And if you look Have like you been Andy, to New York, man. yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I, yeah. I haven't been York? to New York, that's why I'm kind of ex- yeah. Well, we'll then, be excited. Identical. Yeah, you call just, us back when you get to New York and then tell us, Mo. Thank you. Yeah. It's awesome here. It's. Fucking badass. Yeah. I just downloaded Tinder and I have fucking five new pieces of ass. Three of them are yes. uncircumcised, but no worries. <laughs> no, dude, trust don't trust me. Tr- trust trust what Mo's saying, trust what we're saying. Go to New York. Don't stay here for any guy. That's bull, man. No way. But not when you're 18, man. Not when you're 18. No way. If you're 34 no and you and you're with the guy for like five years. Then maybe exactly right. Then I would say okay, and you're only going to be gone six months. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, that's not a problem. That's not. Yeah. That's barely long distance. You'll be. You guys will be fine. Yeah. But when you're 18 and you're going to go to New York to study, I mean, how many young people get that opportunity? Whether it be New York, London, Paris, wherever the fuck. Just the fact yeah. you can go abroad and study for a short amount of time and just get that experience and have all that fun. Man, you don't ever fucking compromise that yeah. because you have a fucking boyfriend. Yeah. And this. How old is your boyfriend? Um, he's twenty one. He's he's twenty one. My God, yeah. Go to New York. Yeah, you know that's that's not yeah. worth it. I mean, you should. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It's not even a question. Here's yeah. what I just want to ask: Are you hotter than the ex girlfriend? <clears throat> Be honest. Well, I really am. I have tits oh. and I have puet. Okay. <laughs> and and you're eighteen. Yeah. That means you'll have more tits and puet when you get older too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. In a couple more years, it's just Shit. only going to enhance. See, so, uh, Maine, relax then. Okay, yeah. if, if, I mean, if you're considerably hotter than this other girl and you're kind of on the fence of whether you're going to leave or not just because this girl, really, you're going to lose the, You're gonna lose like that? Stop, again, how I always say to hot girls, stop acting like an ugly chick. Yeah. You're fucking hot. Yeah. Just remi- remind yourself mm-hmm. that. Okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. You're okay. All right, baby. You're going to be fine, Maine. In your, Rock on. your Twitter account, though. Hold, yeah, hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. We're going to put you on hold. We're going to need the sort of like, you know, important information from you. Just yeah, I'll, 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 I'll talk to you off there. All right. Hold on, hold on. I, love, I love the comic the comic pause of uh, Guji M. Yeah, yeah. Hey, in that, in that Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's oh, too God. funny, my friend. All right, line five. All girls calling today. It feels like, oh, let's go to a guy. People might say we're biased. Okay. Charles, you are um, 23 in Pasig. Hi, Charles. Charles on line five? Uh, we lost Charles. Shit. Uh, it sucks. You know who I want to get? I want to get Chris here on, on, uh, on line five as well. See if you can. Let me try, let, do me a favor. We'll take a commercial break and let me know if you can get Chris. Chris is, uh, he said he's falling in love with his boss because they travel together. Kind of like the last call. But Chris, being a male, uh, is in love with his female boss who's 20 years older than he is. Oh, no fucking traveling way. Together. So I want to know what the fuck this is all about. She so must be hot then. That yeah, or maybe. like. I mean, she, or he well, has, listen, he's really young, though. He's 20. So 40 is, is not incredible. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, if he was yeah. like 30 and then yeah, you know, 20 years older, <laughs> then we're talking, like, what the fuck? But 
t- traveling the world, 20 years old, probably not a se- lot of sexual experience yet. Mm-hmm. You know, ooh, this, this, it sounds like an interesting sounds call that I'd like to take in a little bit. Yeah, so let's yeah. take a break, see if we can get him on the show. It is a uh, Tuesday night on the program is Guji Lorenzana. You can call us at 478-7954, Skype the Good Times Podcast. You can also text us at 0927-214-1981. Back with more of your calls after this. Don't go away. Stay t- 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 we'll return after this commercial break. One thing I really love about music is I get to jam with so many different people. Collaboration comes naturally with musicians. Music should never be a limit or a barrier. It's a bridge. When Yolanda struck, I knew I needed to offer my talents and pitch in. Together with my team, we came up with this idea to do something wonderful for our country. What better way to sort of help out in our own way? We thought of the idea of Unwrap Hope, getting new toys. After a certain date, we bring it all to our mall. Excited, but I don't really know what to expect. I just saw one whole, one whole area, one whole cargo area full of toys, boxes and boxes of toys. So I am playing Santa Claus. That's what's happening here. Yeah. I was just really excited just to get out there, seeing all the kids line up. They're very organized, and it was just really cute. But I just wanted to go out there and. Hit they go just get, get in they get in the mix may gift kami para sa inyo may mga toys kami para sa mga kids sino may gusto ng toys yay mga kaibigan at mga kapatid namin sa globe noon pa man hindi nyo kami iniwala alam ko na babangon uli yung mga orbokanon alam ko na babangon uli ang mga litenyo alam ko na babangon uli sigaw at kalinga but when you're playing the children, I compare it to singing in front of family. It just, it's just an honest thing. They sing along and they scream along and they dance along and I love that. That morning when we come on the 21st, that's probably the same feeling we would get on when we were kids, you know, 25th morning on Christmas Day. So we're bringing them an early Christmas gift. It goes both ways. That's what the season's all about. It's about, about giving back at this point, Kiba. Right? And uh, what more can I ask for when I do that? But, you know, when you're supposed to create something different or something special, then you're supposed to just let go, right? You just let go and let it happen. You know? And whatever it takes you, it's not about you anymore. It's, it's something else that's what it happens to you. You were able to create something bigger and better and special. It's a wonderful world with Globe. Please visit www.projectwonderful.ph to learn more. Um, two girls, one cup. <laughs> I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our topics from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> The show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and the dick on Nicole's head. So we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eigenmans? I would. <laughs> Cisco. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cisco. Uh, truth or dare? Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> Not really. Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. Why did you refuse to be the Ascals head coach countless times? <laughs> I've been there, done that. Too much politics, like I said. Uh, like I posted one time a few days ago, coaching is a thankless job. With what's happening with Michael Weiss, 
uh, we talked about it already before, uh, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and I said, it happens. And I said, you should know that because you worked also somewhere in other countries as well. Uh, there's no such thing as a permanent job in coaching, in any sport. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina? And... Like a double blowjob! Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes, we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro! Vagina? Vaginas? And you're jacking off really intensely but like massaging your balls and shit! I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know... Vaginas? And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Here, my thing with uh, Tinder, uh, Gucci, yeah. is that I don't Facebook, so I can't I can't do Tinder because I don't have Facebook. Oh, it has like, to I do connect. Facebook, I, yeah, it has to connect because that's the thing. It's like you're supposed to be able to. Go on your Tinder account, and it'll all randomly select photos from your Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. And that's, that's what right. they present to the public. But I don't do that. I don't have Facebook, so fuck. That's on. Fuck. Damn. Yeah, but you can, you can still make one. You can know? do one like a Twitter or something like that. Jeez. I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm I do the Twitter thing. I don't do the Facebook thing. But I. I, I got to get around to that. No, you I mean, can, If it means. Yeah, just make a Facebook you know, uh, that you don't use, and then. That's true. Get a Tinder. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think I'm cool. So you can have, like, you know, uh, yeah, adventures. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It'd be nice to have uh, somebody sucking on my dick for every now and then. Yeah, it's like, kind of cool. It's kind of cool. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right, good stuff. 478 7954, Skype to Good Times Podcast. Text us 0927214981. It is a Tuesday night here on the podcast. Nice to be back, by the way, on the podcast after a short little break. I mean, I was in uh, New Orleans covering the NBA All Star game. That was a lot of fun. Damn. I mean, back, uh, finally getting to see some of the players that have not been to the All Star game that I really like. Like, you know, Steph Curry, it was his first NBA All Star game. So it was nice to kind of catch up with him. Um, have a nice little chat and all that. So it was really good experience. Really wild area. Man, New Orleans is fucking crazy over mm -hmm. there. So it was fun. Thank you, NBA. 
Appreciate it very much. Next year, New York City, baby. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Um, all right, let's get some more calls. Let's talk to JM here, who's on Line 5. Hi, JM. Welcome to the show. How can we help you? Hi. Hello, Mo. Hey, JM. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm currently in a relationship, but, you know, we cannot uh, disclose to everyone because uh, the, the girl is a friend of uh, my ex, but, but ah, we officially they broke, broke up. It's just that I just feel that the, the ex is still in love with me or something like that. But, you know, I, I don't know how to deal with it. Wait a minute. Time out. So she broke the girl code. She's dating you, but her ex is her really <sighs> good friend. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah. Oof. And now you also still think that the ex is in love with you. So she's super breaking the code because there's breaking the code and you shouldn't date. And then there's breaking the code because you shouldn't date. Plus, she's still in love with you. Yes. It's like a double yeah, break. The, this, uh, the new girl doesn't have any idea that I'm uh, – that was uh, the ex of a So you friend. keep all your relationships secret? Yeah. And why did you keep the last one secret? Because you said you kept – you're keeping this one secret because of the whole, you know, code breaking. But they're Why friends. did you keep the last one? Yeah, that's true. So why did yeah, you because, keep the last one secret? Yeah, b- sorry. Because uh, – Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm technically married and, you know, Ooh. cannot disclose my relationship to everyone. Shit. Boy, JM, you're really living the life here, buddy. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, man. Do you have a Tinder account, um, too? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm separated for two years already. So I'm yeah. opening up okay. myself to date. And I'm, the ex is, uh, we had a one-year relationship. And then we broke up. I, you know, jumped into the next one. Okay. All right. You understand that this can all blow up in your face, right? I know. Okay, all right. So okay. what's your question? Yeah, I just need to know how, how do I do it? How do I tell the ex? Or do I really have to tell? Because I really want to open well, up this. You have a small circle of friends that do know, <laughs> That you're, and, that you're uh, picking one from the other one, one who you're going to... Yeah. Damn, that's Okay, so that's wait, let me ask now. you this. How do you know your ex is still in love with you? Because you're saying, what do I tell her? So what kind of like signs, what kind of messages is she sending? What kind of contact is she trying to make? Is it oh the X? I'm sorry, the line's kind of breaking up. Yeah, the X. Because you're saying, what do you have to? What are you gonna tell her? That means she's reaching out to you, or she's asking you things, or sending you messages. And your question is, what do I tell her? Yeah. Meaning, what is she saying? Yeah. Uh, actually, what what happened is that after we broke up, we 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 remained friends. Uh, we we kept on talking, but not in really uh, boyfriend girlfriend uh, talk, but. You know, it's just that I mean, because we broke up already for three months, and during the time that we well, that we broke up, we're not having sex, but we're continuously talking as friends. Now that I'm dating someone, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna open up. Oh man, man. you have really dug yourself into a little bit of a hole here, bud. It's because a, the, a, a great way to tell her, you know, that you're dating someone else is by easily saying, hey, I'm dating, dating this somebody person. Else. Yeah. Right. And then she's going to go, who? And then you tell who? And then, oh, we have problems. You're going to look like an asshole. Like, actually, you know, they didn't break the code because they didn't know you're, you're look, you look like a massive dick yeah. is yeah. what it is. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like shit. anybody else is doing anything wrong except, he, if, except you. That's the, yeah. Yes, that's which is true. Oh, fuck. Um. And then if you tell your girlfriend that your ex-girlfriend was her best friend, she's going to break up with you. So either way, You're fucked. the girls are going to get pissed Yeah. when they find out. Yeah. And they're going to find out, I JM. I mean, you understand that like, you're, this is not espionage. This is just uh. – they're going to fucking find out. Yeah, I, I'm, uh. I'm, I mean, I, I would like to tell them before everyone finds out. You know, I don't want to be the kupal na, uh. you know, at the end – the day, nalaman na lahat, wala ka pang sinabi. So, I mean, Privately, you are Kupal already. Yeah, you just, are. You're talking about publicly <laughs> Kupal, yes? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could say that. You could say that. Yeah, well, because that's what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. No, but I, listen, I'm on your side, JM. It's not, I, I'm not here to make fun of yours. I'm just yeah. saying, you know you're fucked. We know you're yeah. fucked. And you're going to look like a dick either way. So what are we going to do? How do we minimize the dick look? Yeah. Uh, Guji, do you have any... Tips on this guy? Well, no. I'm still concocting mine. Okay, who, who's the who's the new one? The new relationship is the girl you're with now, right? And then that's that's friends with your ex, correct? 
Yeah. I say uh, open up to the one that you're with now. Tell them that, you know, um, I started liking you after after we I broke up with my ex, but I have something to tell you. And start from there. If, if she says, well, I love you too, I understand that you had to go through that, then let's try to work through it. Then you go and try to start fixing things from that moment. But the first person you need to talk to, in my opinion, is the, the person you're with now, the new one. That is a great point, but boy, am I hoof. No, it's that, it's that, that, it's gonna be tough. But if yeah, you're gonna if you wanna if you you're gonna have to take the risk. It's better for it instead of it blowing up in your face, where all of them just hate you. Uh, at least you can kind of salvage your your dig- dignity in some way by opening up to at least somebody first. And I think the first person to open up with is the person you're with now. You know, th- that's a hundred percent correct, uh, Gucci. That that's the greatest advice. I mean, that's the right advice. And yeah. It's very difficult to pull off, but JM, I think that's really what you have to do. How yeah. long have you been in? Have, how long have you been with this girl? Uh, the new one, a month. Oh, one month? Fuck, man! I don't know, Gucci. I feel like wait, wait. You said one month? Yeah, one month. Yeah, because I followed the three month rule with the ex. There is uh, no three. There's month no such rule. thing as a three month rule. <laughs> yeah, because you've broken all the other rules prior to that. Like yeah, this. You, this is major you know what you're rule. doing. Yeah, you know what you're doing, JM. It's like uh, let's take it back to what we were talking about earlier with the religion. Okay, yeah, certain religions tell you to do certain things and to not do certain things, and there's certain people who just kind of <laughs> pick which ones they want to follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm yeah. gonna that whole sex before marriage. Blah, blah, blah. I'll just fucking disregard that one. Oh, but I'll take that one over there. You know, you can't yeah. you can't choose, man. You can't you can't say, oh, I have a three month rule when you've broken two very sacred cardinal rules prior to your. Yeah. To the one that you're I mean, okay with. Even so. the Catholic Church says that uh, if if you if you if you were married once in in the Catholic religion and then you divorce oh, and, and meet right. somebody else, you're still committing adultery. So that's right. That's well, right. It's bullshit. So so everybody's got really weird rules yeah. and stuff like that. I, I don't think you should be kind of saying, "Oh, I'm following this one," and then kind of pretend you're not breaking other ones. Okay. So yeah. anyway, on, on that note, I really think Guji's advice is the way to go. But to do it in a relationship that's only one month. Is so dangerous, man. It's dangerous. And you have to be prepared, though, because that's what you got yourself into. Yeah. Like but the thing if is, this if, girl. Sorry, go ahead. No, but the thing is, if if he waits any longer, it's just gonna. It's even gonna get worse, as well. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah that's the thing. That's where the risk is. Like, it could really work out for you, JM, by being honest, and mm-hmm. you're still within that window where. Well, how come you didn't tell me? Well, because we're really new, and I wanted to make sure that you know. Not that worth you were it. worth it. Well, no, but that's that's no, that's what they're gonna. Um, but that's what they're gonna hear. Right, but yeah. uh, that's what. But you have to kind of, kind of, you know, add a little perfume and, and lipstick <laughs> to that line. You have to say like, I just. How do I say? Okay, hold on. Yeah, let's think about this. Jim, I really want to help you out here. So here we go. So she goes. I have, okay, you tell her. I have, I have something to tell you. Blah blah blah. My ex girlfriend was this. We kept <laughs> it because I. Wait, wait. Does this new girl know that you're uh, married? Yeah. She knows. This Great. Yeah, that's good. Great. Okay, that's good. At least that she knows that part. Yeah. yeah. So you go. Well, see, here's the thing. My last relationship was with da 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 da, and the reason why we kept it from everybody is because I'm married. That relationship is over, and I haven't told you about it. And I know that you know you're gonna you might feel awkward mm-hmm. because of the circumstances. But the reason why I've waited a month or a few weeks. Rephrase the way I've. Yes. The reason why I've waited a few weeks. A few weeks. Is because. Then blank. What is it? How do we? Because yeah, you're right, good. She's gonna hear. I want to. You know that it was it. worth and, it. And girls want to know they're worth that. it. Girls want to always know. Well, I'm I'm worth it. So. Yeah, but you don't want to. You you want. They want to know they're worth it from day one, not from fucking week yes, four. Yes. So it's no. Then, then you then you um, say that you say that I knew you were special. I waited a few. I waited a few weeks before I could tell you. Um, but I just didn't want to lose you if I told you too early either. And I'm just trying to gain the courage to tell you now. So that's why I waited um, this long. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. That, that I like that. Hey, Gucci, man, you're good. <laughs> yeah, this is good stuff, man. I would, I would kind of, yeah, say, say something around that way. I, I, the reason why I waited is I feel like we're missing one, yeah, one we, killer we, we line here, we though. There, there's a killer line somewhere there that we need. And, and, and guys uh, who are listening to the show, I mean, usually I would tell this caller to fuck off and it's time to move on. But <laughs> I really want to help this guy out here. There's a killer line here. Just give me a second. The reason why I didn't tell you yet was because blank. <sighs> Pico, you got anything there? Nah, no, still thinking. <laughs> All right. You're writing this shit down. Um, 
The reason why I didn't tell you. The reason why I didn't tell you yet was because. I, I like what you said earlier that, that yeah. you were scared that you were going to af- lose. I was her. afraid to lose you. I knew when I first met you early on. I knew early on when I first met you that that you were somebody special, and because you were very special to me, I didn't want to lose you. So I was just afraid to tell you. But after. But um, then why now? Are you not? Um, the reason. The reason why. No, no. The reason why I'm telling you now is because I don't want it to last any longer without you not knowing the truth. Ooh, because you deserve the truth. Love it. One more line, though, because because I'm hearing a lot of negative words here. Week and getaways out of town, and I was supposed to tell her first week, but you know, yeah. Yeah, but but here's the thing, though. There's a lot of negativity there. I mean, while it sounds positive. I, I don't hear anything about the girl. Remember, you got to put something there about her. It, it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff about like should have told you the truth. It's I know this. I was scared. There's a lot of negative connotation. We're missing one line. The one line that says, "By the way, you are the most sp- spectacular person I know." Yeah, you, you were know, the it, most spectacular they're, they're, person I know, and I know you deserve the truth, and I want to give it to you. So I'm I'm there putting putting all the cards. You know, on the line, and, right. and 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 I don't, and I'm a, even if I lose you, at least you know the truth, and that's how special you are to me. There you and go. And if you oh, can yeah. look past that, and we can work it out, then please stay with me. <sighs> yeah, I was supposed to and, tell and maybe, <laughs> she was the best thing that ever happened to me, but that worked. <laughs> I don't think. But see, the thing, best thing that ever happened to you after a month is a little strong, and it smells like boda. It smells, it smells like, like boda. bullshit. Yeah, but that's a great you, line you, for a movie. <laughs> yeah, you can't go. Yeah, you can't. You can't be like that first caller for us. It was all about that stuff. Mm-hmm. It has to still have a believability to yeah. it. So, yeah, fuck. Here's the thing. <laughs> Everything that Guji said is is solid. But remember, you always have to compliment the girl because I think they're just built that way. You have to remind them that they're amazing. Not with the whole, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. No, because then again, you're still talking about yourself. Yes. Talk about them. I love the you deserve the truth before it gets, you know, crazy. I know that you know, I, you know, you and no, and you could even say that. Put yourself in line. Say you know, and I think you deserve better. But I, oh shit, you can't say that because what if you decide to leave? It's it? negative again, man. But fuck. I, uh, fuck. Um, hold on. I mean, here's the thing. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, fuck. No, because I was thinking, should, should, should he put in something about, like, I don't want to ruin your friendship with your friend because I respect you. But see, again, it's a negative connotation. No, because you're, but, not, you're not there either yet. At the, that's, that's part of the punchline. It's part of the whole, it's, 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 you're, it's part of the truth already. You're I not, can't believe I'm stumped on this, man. You're not going to go there yet. You're not going to tell her that it's your, it's, you're not going to give her that information yet, just yet. You, you, you're trying to. Okay, one month relationship. Sorry, JM. Give us some time here. Give us. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give us 20 more sure, seconds, sure. and if we don't got anything, we're going to send you on your way. Yeah. Uh, well, I like all the stuff that Guji said. I think we're 90 percent there. Mm-hmm. I think there's just one more line that needs to be thrown in. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like suck my dick. Um, I I don't know, man. I don't know. And you don't want to be I like, I'm falling for you either. You don't want to be like, I, I love you either. Cause might, yeah, you don't want to throw the, I love you. Yeah. Especially at the greatest thing that ever happened. That Because that's horseshit. Yeah, right? yeah. Fuck. Uh, yeah, you don't look that. Um, JM. You have, you have, the, you have the, the, um, the foundation. I'll tweet. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll tweet it to you if I come up with the line. But right now, I think we're 90% there. Mm-hmm. Gucci's got it all down with, the, with what he said. Because it's honest. It's respectful. It, you know, it, it has a lot of great elements there. I think we're just missing the, the, the compliment. You have to throw in one good compliment because I think a, a lot of females are built to kind of just say, okay, yeah, you know, remind me why you love me. They yeah. always say that. Why yeah. do you love me? You they always the, feel secure. A compliment that needs to be, 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 needs to be put there. And yeah. I think that's the only thing we're missing here right now. But everything else was rock solid. That's right. Okay. All right? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, buddy. Thanks, man. If Good I come luck. up with it, I'll tweet it to you, man. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Okay. All right. Thanks, right. All right. Bye, bye. Because see, Jim, here he's fucked, man. I mean, you he really fucked. got yourself in a situation that if it all goes to shit, let's say you follow Guji's lines, and which I think are, is the way to go. Really, honestly, I, I can't, could not have put it better myself. Um, there's still a risk that you're gonna get. Fu- this is gonna blow up in your face, and if it does, guess what? You deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's unfortunate, but uh, th- that's that's the either way. It, if it does blow up in his face, he w- it was gonna come anyway. So he has to yeah, he has true. to set himself up and uh, and get himself ready for it. That it's just gonna blow that's up right. all in his face. And it's better to for, to blow up in your face this way because then you you look less of a dick to yeah. her. Like yeah. you're still gonna look like a dick. But what, imagine if you didn't say anything, you're gonna look like the biggest fucking asshole ever. Yeah. At least here, she might, you know, she might. She's not gonna slap you like she would have slapped you if you kept it from her. Yeah. She's just gonna call you an asshole. Yeah. Like tang ina ka ka and then leave. Oh. That's fine. Mm-hmm. You wait any longer, she beats. She fucking slaps you. Yeah. Exactly. She'd be like, you wait. You waited this long to tell me. Yeah. And then hates you. Yeah. And then you're fucked. Everyone's gonna hate him after that. Not not even just the friends, but everybody else. How about having? How, okay, when to say it? Do you say it like after you had sex? Are you just lying there, cuddling in each other's arms. Oh, fuck. There's, there's an innocence and nudity. Oh <laughs> my just gosh! Gonna... Ooh, that's <laughs> tough, man. Why she's when she's blowing you. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Too. Yeah. When you're going down on her. <laughs> oh, by the way. By, by the, the way, way, right uh, when around she's about to orgasm. Wait a minute, hold on. I have something to tell you. <laughs> yeah, there's something. And uh, yours smells a lot better than hers. Yeah, just wanted sm- to say, yeah, <laughs> just today, and I can taste this far yeah. tastier. Just saying. Um, quick announcement here. Then we'll go to uh, Joe, a 16-year-old in uh, Surigao. Wait, hold on. I gotta get my um, little lots. Okay, here we go. I've uh, I've been friends with Bamboo for a long time. Yeah. Even named my dog after him. I don't know if you know that, uh, Gucci. And he's uh, doing this uh, Unwrap Hope, which is really amazing. It's all part of the Project Wonderful that Globe is doing. So check out okay. how Bamboo has unwrapped on plog- uh, projectwonderful.ph. And do you mind uh, doing this uh, as well? You can uh, get the uh, iPad Mini. Uh, oh, me as well. Oh, sorry. You can get the iPad Mini, iPad uh, Mini with Retina display, and iPad Air on installment basis at Beyond the Box One Rockwell. Do you check out Beyond the Box on Twitter at Beyond the Box PH. Yep. Okay. Are we taking a break or do we, are we going to talk to Line 5? Are we going with Line 5 first? Uh, what do we got? No, we're, we're still break? All right. Let's take a break. Yeah. Okay. And then after that, we'll take your last chance at your calls. When we return from this commercial break, Gucci learns out on the program today. Thanks yes. for being here, sir. You're doing an excellent job. Yeah, anytime. As, as expected. Anytime. Back in a few minutes. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. your status everything looks great hq cdcp looks fine remember your powers come from the signal feeds from cell towers so make sure you stay within reach i'll be fine hq there are more than 7,000 globe cell sites scattered across country See? I see one right there. Hmm. What's the problem over there? I'll go check it out. Be careful, Agent CT. If you need any assistance... HQ. Agent it's you, do you read me? Respond, agency. Do you copy? What's your status? Oh, do you copy? Oh, do you copy? Where am I? There seems to be no signal that we're in this village. My signal senses are tingling. What to do? What to do? Aha! I know! Agency! Oh yeah. I forgot. I don't have powers here. Normal citizen! 
Secure permission. Secure permission. To the homeowners association meeting. Homeowners Association Office. Excuse me. Okay, on to other issues. Um, cell phone signals. We're here to answer questions. Oh, great. Just the proper form. Let's go. We finalized today. Any more concerns? Uh, yes. Good afternoon, all. On cell sites, we need to set up a cell site within this village. We don't need that. Your laptops, your cell phones, your tablets, they feed on signal for them to work. You see, it does not even have to look like a cell site. It just has to look like it belongs. Oh. But what about the health risks? Yeah, Fear not. Health risks? Several studies show that the radio frequency signals used by these cell sites do not affect your health. It's just like the frequency used by baby monitors, AM and FM radios, your Wi-Fi, completely harmless. Think about That's it. Exactly what Without wireless communication, how will you stay updated? How will you talk to your loved ones who are abroad? Yeah. How will you remind your kids to take care and to come home early? That's right. We need a cell site. I agree! I'm going to call my father now. Yeah! That's exactly what we need. Thank you, thank you. No, thank you, random citizen. I want a cell site right now! I agree! Super Agent CD! See? True power lies within each citizen. Signal connects us. Together, we will make more villages a more comfortable place to live in. I guess my mission here is done. Oh, great. We thought we lost you, Agent CT. That's Super Agent CT now! I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our topics from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> the show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and, and the dick on Nicole's head. Um, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eichenmann? I would. <laughs> Cisco, because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cisco. Uh, truth or dare, Kupal people, bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it, 
and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the new Media Factory family. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina? And... Like a double blowjob! Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro. Vagina? Vaginas? And you're jacking off really intensely but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. It's me, Tita K. Tita K. Come and hang out on Live Love Laws. Let's talk about makeup, beauty. Hi, Ganda. <laughs> Who's that? We can talk about ugly too. Nah, no, just kidding. And of course, Donya problems galore. Yeah, yeah. Ang spaceship. Okay, on. Fashion, shopping. Oh my God, shopping! I love shopping. Ah, food. We gotta talk about food. Anything and everything on cyberspace. Let's buy everything. We can talk about glamour and ubusan nang glamour. We fly Wednesday 6 to 7 p.m. only on nmfnetwork.tv. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. Why did you refuse to be the Ascals head coach countless <laughs> times? I've been there, done that. Too much politics, like I said. Uh, like I posted one time a few days ago, coaching is a thankless job. With what's happening with Michael Weiss, uh, we've talked about it already before, uh, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and I said, it happens. And I said, you should know that because you've worked also somewhere in other countries as well. Uh, there's no such thing as a permanent job in coaching, in any sport. Why did you refuse to be the Ascals head coach countless times? I've been there, done that. Too much politics, like I said. Uh, 
Like I posted one time a few days ago, coaching is a thankless job. With what's happening with Michael Weiss, uh, we talked about it already before, uh, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and I said, it happens. And I said, you should know that because you worked also somewhere in other countries as well. Uh, there's no such thing as a permanent job in coaching, in any sport. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. Princess, she hates me. Oh, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program here on this Tuesday night. Time to wrap it up. Last chance for your calls. We'll see if we we'll probably have time to take two or three calls in this uh, last segment here before we wrap it up. Our guest tonight, Guji Lorenzana. You can follow Guji on Twitter at Guji Lorenzana. If you want to know how that's spelled like, it's uh, G-U-J-I Lorenzana. That's right, Twitter. thanks. And on Tinder. Yeah, it's a different story. <laughs> but yes, uh, do the Twitter yeah. thing first. Right. Um, let's <laughs> let's take some more calls here. Last chance for your calls, by the way, 478-7954, Skype, the Good Times Podcast. You can text us here, 927-214-1981. This podcast, of course, brought to you by Globe. Let's talk to Dion first, who is on line six. Hi, Dion. Welcome to the show. You are 23 years old in Rizal. Hi, Mo. Hi, Dion. What's up? Yeah, I'm doing good. Sorry. How can we the help whole you? Day I'm having a punch. <laughs> Conflict the whole day? All right. What do you got? Oh, oh yeah, red days. <laughs> okay. What's up? Um, I'm doing good. Um, okay. What's yeah. your question? Hello? Yeah, what's your question? Um, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of confused right now. Um, okay. Because, because I alam kung if I'm still bitter with my ex-boyfriend and I hate being told by everyone uh, whenever I talk about him he always say that I'm bitter and I'm the one who left him and I'm not the one who unfriend on Facebook or unfollowed or blocked on Instagram and other social media sites like that but he, okay. but, but you left him. Ikaw yung nag-break. Why? Why did I left De, him? I, ikaw, nag, ikaw yung nag-break, di ba? Um, actually, he did. Kasi he asked me if ayoko na, and I just said yes. Okay, so you agreed? Yeah, I agreed because and ngayon, for the four... And ngayon, for the because I'm she's not. blocking you from... Is it? No, no. I think what she's mad at, Guji, is her friends. Every time she talks about him, her friends just go, bitter ka lang. And she wants oh. to know, yeah. are they telling the truth? Are they? Is she really bitter or, or what? Okay. Um, yeah. Hold on one second. We'll put you on hold because there's a, kind of a little bit of a background uh, noise there. No. The answer to your question there is no, you're not bitter. The reason I think they say that is because they don't want to hear you talk about it. That's him. right. It, it, they're just trying to shut you up. Mm -hmm. And it's very trendy now to shut someone up by saying, oh, you're just bitter. Because then you're fucked. 
you're like, okay, well, thank you, asshole. I, I can't talk about it now. And, and then yeah. somebody, you need to talk about it. You need to get it off your chest. You need to, when you're brokenhearted, whether you are or you're not, people need, it's, it's therapeutic. They need to let it out. And if your friends are your friends, they'll, they'll spare a couple of minutes to hear you out. Mm-hmm. But the moment they start going, they, they, bitter ka lang. that means I don't want to hear it and shut up. Yeah. Yeah. Uji, is that about right? About right? Yeah, I agree. And, and I hate how we live in a culture sometimes where we can't talk about our, our feelings. Sometimes we we have yeah. we have to close up. If like if we're sad, we have to let it stay inside. I mean, we have all these soaps that like everybody's going crazy, letting out all their feelings. But when it comes to reality in real life, we can't talk to anybody about anything. I mean, it's so taboo still in the Philippines to have a psychiatrist or a therapist, right? Exactly, exactly. And and I, I again, it is very therapeutic to let your feelings out. It doesn't mean you're bitter. It doesn't mean no. you're holding on to anything. It just means this is what's going on in your life and your friends generally should be around right. to hear about it. Exactly. exactly. Sorry. Oh, I think we got uh, this. Yeah, so um, I think if they start saying things like bitter ka lang, Dion, it means they don't want to hear your they don't want to hear what you're saying. Whether it also means you're talking about it too much or your friends are just assholes. I don't know. <laughs> because maybe you're talking about it too yeah. much. Maybe all day long, you know, it's all, that's the only thing that you're talking about. Uh, yeah, then, annoying. of course, it gets irritating. Yeah. yeah. So try to assess your behavior. Are you talking about your ex-boyfriend all the time? If you are then they're getting annoyed by it, which is understandable. No. Or are you not talking about him all the time and they just don't, they just don't really care and they don't have time for it? Yeah. Hello? It's either or. Yes. Yeah. Did you hear that? Okay. So not, don't talk about it too much if you're talking about him too much. Yeah, but they're asking me to watch. And I'm just answering and they're so oh. weird. And well then, then here's the case. Here's the case. If they're asking you, if they're asking you about your boyfriend, and when you talk about him, I think the whole bitter thing. I think that's just because they don't have an answer. Yeah. People sometimes are scared of not having an answer, so they'll go ahead and throw one of those things. It's like, hold on. Well, let me put you on hold again, Gucci. It's like this. Uh, you know, when people say "just saying," yeah, that's because they've run out of words. Just saying. They're just filling it in now. Yep. Yeah. Just saying. Yep. Just saying. It, it, it's 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 like a disclaimer. Yeah, the just, say, just, the just saying is like how back in the day people go, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Now, yeah. Now it's just yeah. saying. Or, or here's, the, here's my favorite one, but still. But still. Like if you're wrong, <laughs> but if still. you're wrong mm-hmm. for something, like uh, if I said, hey, did you know that uh, octopus have 10 tentacles? And then you go, no, oh, it's octopus. It's eight. eight. That's why it's octopus. And I'm like, yeah, but, yeah, but still. still. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you just, I, I'm at a loss for words, but still. But still. <laughs> you know, Shit. so maybe that bitter thing is just okay. I'm asking yeah, you a yeah. question, you answer it, and because I can't really, I have no retort. I can't do anything. I'm just, ah, baka bitter ka lang. Oh, baka bitter you know, it's it's, it's a lang filler. Lang. Oh. Yeah. yeah. The problem is you're taking it seriously. And well, she she so. must be young, right? She she sounds like she's young. Twenty three. So, Twenty three. Oh, she's not that yeah. young. Well, that's still young. And your friends probably have no idea what to say to you. you know yeah. You? Yeah. I don't think you're bitter at all. Well, at some point, I, I still hate him. <laughs> yeah, no, you can hate him. No, you can hate no him. feel free to hate him. Yeah. yeah, no, totally. Listen, when you hate somebody, it doesn't mean you're bitter. It means no. they, they probably they could have earned it. it. Doesn't mean, so it doesn't mean or it wouldn't be a category or such thing to be considered as I'm bitter because I'm still, I'm sort of mad at him. No, no. I, listen, I, I, you know what it is. It's, I'm telling you, it's what people just say. Trust me, it's the word bitter is also so trendy right now. You know, it's 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 so used it's loosely. A, it's a, yeah, it's yeah. used so loosely. Like the moment you have an opinion, and if the opinion is negative, the first thing people throw out bitter kalam. It's like it, it, that's because these people are too lazy or too what for whatever reason. You are entitled to be mad at this guy. You can be mad at him for years. There are people I hate for fucking decades. It doesn't mean I'm bitter. It's just I hate them. That's fine. <laughs> That's it's true. fine. It's true. I mean, you could be affected for as long as you want. I mean, we're human beings. We get hurt. We get angry. And if you are still not over something, it doesn't necessarily mean that bitter ka lang. It means hindi ka pa over yung yeah. whatever happened. Yeah. Or yeah, you just don't want to deal with that person. Yeah. That's fine. 
and you you're, you're looking for happiness. Go, you're, listen, so you're, listen, listen. If, if if Gucci and I were were great friends, and then we will, we got into a business, okay, and and then say I fucking screwed you over, I stole money from you, uh, Gucci. Ouch. Uh, Fifteen years from now, you still hate me. That's not bitter. That's not bitter. Because <laughs> you, you, you fucking took money from me. I fucked me, you dude. over. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, yeah. do you think do you think people would go, "Hey, me Gucci, bitter?" Can I'm like, really? Am I bitter, or am I just like, I'm hey, like, the guy fucked me over yeah. for money? Fuck that guy. I don't trust that guy. Shit. I don't want to talk yeah, to him. that's it. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> yeah. But but people just want to call you bitter because it's convenient for them. No. Or they're not of words now. Or now kind of people they don't work the bitter off. <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a little mix of lack of words, very convenient to say, oh. used right now, very loosely, trendy. You just, you, I hear it all the time. Every time I complain about something, people will say, they're bitter. It's like, I sit there and I go, huh? I'm like, really? Yeah. I don't even know where the bitterness is there. Do you even know what that means? Mm-hmm. So don't worry about it. I mean, there's... Unless, I'm oh, sorry, unless truly you are bitter because... Yes, yeah. You keep on talking about it constantly. Yeah. Then you, can, in fact, can be bitter. Be- but because there are some people sorry, in this world who are just really, really bitter people, and they just can't get over anything that happens bad in their life, that they just hate everything. And those people are annoying to be with because all they do is talk about how much they hate That's everything right. and ha- hate everybody. And if you're like that, then maybe you are bitter. But uh, from what I hear, you just got a relationship, so you're upset. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, that's normal. Okay. Yeah. And alam nyo, sobrang nakakatawa sa kanila kasi um, when they saw the new girlfriend of my ex-boyfriend, sila pa yung nandala, it, diba? Yeah, she's, she's not that pretty. Or when you see when you see her tweets, hindi siya mukha intelligent. And ako yung bitter. So pas, yeah, I don't listen friends. to it. Don't listen to it. They're, they're not yeah. using it properly. Yeah, they're not using the word properly. And, yeah, and everybody so. uses the word a lot. Yep. Yeah, no, you're fine. You're fine, okay? All right, Dean. Thanks for the call. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I think I think you have an inability to shut up. There's also a, a little bit of an issue, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And they're still you, though they're still using it incorrectly. They're trying to shut you up with yeah. everything they can. All right. Um, let's go to Lee, who is on what line one, two, or three, or four? Uh, three. Where's three? Hi, Lee. How are you? Good evening. Hi. Hey, Lee, you are, let me see, how old are you here? 30 years old in Paranaque. What's up? I should be turning 30 anyway, 30. Hey, are we on speakerphone? You sound like you're in the shower. Lee? Me? Are we on speakerphone? No. No? Okay, yeah, you sound like you're in the bathroom. Okay, never mind. What's up? Um, well, my friends are much just, I know, um, I think I love this guy, but I know I I know I shouldn't because he's married and he's way older than me. So yeah. I just want to talk to someone about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sure. Well, yeah. Do you Step feel? Do you feel? Do you feel pressured, but like with your life? Like has it been a while since you've had a relationship? No. Not a man. No. So. I mean, I said, well, what do you like about yeah, him? Let's you, start with that. There you go. What okay, do you like so about he's, this guy? He's considerably older than you. You're 30, and he's very older than you. So what? how old is he? He's 53. Hmm? 53. Okay, 23 years. Um, what do you like about him? It, it's because of the conversation. It, I mean, nowadays, it's hard to find a guy with, you can converse with, with your friend level. Lee, you're talking to you're talking two to two <laughs> excellent conversationalists. Yeah, but he, <laughs> well, for, I've been listening to your podcast for a really long time, so it's the first time na na pancing na ho. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Fair enough. Okay. Um, okay. He's married. You're attracted to him. Is he giving any romantic advances towards you? Okay. Hui. Lee. Mm. Lee. Lee. Did okay. he lose Lee? Lee, are you talking to us? Uh, is he? Is this guy showing interest yeah, in you yeah. romantically? What the fuck is <laughs> going, going on? on? <laughs> is she? Put put her on hold. Hold on. Put her on hold and start talking to her off air. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one? Lee. Lee. 
Lee. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll put yeah. Put her on hold one second. Um, Pico, can you s- set that to straight? Ange, yep. can you take care of her and ask her is she listening to a stream or or what's? Are we streaming? No, no, no. Pico? Hold on. No, no. no. That's weird. Yeah, we'll fix it. Okay. Wait, what the hell's happening with her? All right, but anyway, let's talk her. Let's talk, let's talk about her anyway. Um, okay, so she's in love with, her, or she's falling in love, or she has feelings yeah. for 53. a married man who's twenty years older. Um, when you're thirty, I mean, I'm trying to find out. Does anything have? You know, a lot of people always say this thing. It's so hard to find a guy or somebody who has good conversation skills. That's obviously not true. Yep. It, it, you just. You like this guy, and you're spending a lot of time with him. I'm assuming they work together then, because yeah. in what other environment, environment can you spend considerable amount of time with a married man? Yeah, they're not, not gonna get go clubbing or something. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they're not. Yeah, right, because he's married. So yeah. this must be somebody she works with, uh-huh. and that's gonna happen. I mean, you're gonna get attracted to people you work with often, whether it yeah. be in show business or in the fucking corporate world or whatever. Right. You spend so much time with people, you find out things that you like about them and then you get attracted to them and and sometimes we even have these like equivalent of a husband and wife at work yes so you know your work husband and your wife you know your work wife and stuff like yeah. that so it's it's uh it'll happen right it's tough and it's it's hard to draw the line i mean especially if you're vulnerable like that and she seems like a very vulnerable person maybe she's just not she's not putting up her guard so she's falling for her guy uh we don't know and, yet and what if what if he's the boss if he's the boss then you're also attracted to the power exactly that, that's there exactly so, and we don't know even even know yet if he's even advancing any sexual or romantic uh feelings back or or anything like that uh right see that's the key there though because yeah. if he is doing something then we have a problem yes yes because you're you're talking about a really bad guy here yeah if it's you just i have a crush on a guy who's married well then you can always keep that at a distance yeah if he's flirting with you and doing things with you and then stuff like that then you really starting to get in dangerous waters now that's right so that's right. be careful so wait uh, have we sorted this out with lee yeah she's there okay lee yeah all right so here we go sounds better now uh has he been giving any hints that he wants something from you as well romantically yes uh oh, like uh, what? Like he always says that he like loves me. Like massage with oil. <laughs> but, uh, I'm sorry. What happened? Go ahead. No, last Valentine's he came over and then he gave me flowers and then we went out for dinner. And oh, oh you're my screwed. gosh, <laughs> you're dead already, Lee. Okay, all right. Is he your boss at work? No, no. Who, how did you, you meet him? I'm actually. We met in a bar. A friend of mine oh. introduced us. A friend? Yes. Wow. May I call okay. this back? But do you work with each other? No. Really. Okay. No. Wow. So you're full on kabit now then because it, I'd understand the working with each yeah, other yeah. angle because there's time there that you mandatory have to spend with each other. And now if this is extending beyond work and uh, well, it's not even beyond work because you guys are not working together. It's, this is where he tries to look for spare moments, mm-hmm. lying to his wife where he's going, yeah. doing things just to see you. And you know he's doing that because he's married in this and you're mm-hmm. going out to Valentine's with him. Then you're full on kabit now, yeah. Lee. And that's dangerous. Yeah, I think so. Did you know? Yeah, did you know? Na, ano, na siya? Um, actually, when I met him, it's uh, like after a week, I asked him, na, Kung may asawa siya. if he's married. If he has married. And then that's the time he said, yeah, I am. Uh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't tell you it's the first time we met. And I'm gonna... <laughs> Love that. All right. <laughs> Love it. It's just because you deserve better. The you know, yeah, you're, you're, the lines, Gucci. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to wait a little bit because until, you know, and... to, yeah, the risk. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> All right. So what do you want from us, then, Lee? No, I, I, I know it's wrong, but... There's a feeling na eh. Exciting kasi, no? Doesn't matter, love. There's a feeling. There's a lot of feel. There's a lot of great feelings involved in really bad activity. Yeah. I'm sure the guys that rob banks and count their money after they rob <laughs> it, it feel great about it. <laughs> Puta, I can have four million. You know, there's always that. There's yeah. all, of course, there's a rush. There's a reward, at least the way your body feels. It doesn't make it any more right. correct. Yeah. Right? You know, so it doesn't make it more right. So, Lee... I mean, come on, love. You're 30 years old. You've matured. You're yeah, you're I supposed know. to be at least at this point. When the wife finds out, you're screwed. fuck it. I Maybe did. not. Yeah. Well, not even. Maybe if the kids find out. Yeah. Because 
at this point, if the wife's 53 years old as well, or, you know, 50 plus, mm -hmm. maybe she doesn't have what it takes to go over your house and beat your ass, but his daughters do. And they'll go over there and pull your hair out. Because that's what I would do. I would fuck you up. They might bring foods too. And also, he <laughs> introduced me with his friends. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I, I don't. See, matter. I, I always hear this too with other girls. They're like, <laughs> like, like yeah, it's but, supposed to be something happy. You know, it's like, <laughs> you, they, they, but they introduced me to their family and they introduced me to their cousins. They introduced me Yo. to their friends. Don't, don't, don't look so? at that as a sign. That that's a. I, I, come on, G guys, do that. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> have you had sex with him? We did once. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, happen, oh, yeah. Hey. Lee, yeah. what what do you want, man? You want you us want to advice? tell you? What do you want us to tell you? Okay, just tell me frankly what I have to do. Okay. Well, frankly, not what you have to do. You know what you have to do. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what could happen to you if you continue to behave this way and what you can expect from this. Number one, you expect no relationship out of this. Yeah. You're, he's not going to, you know, at this point of his life, if he does leave his wife for you, you're going to be hated by his children, mm -hmm. probably by your family. Yeah. Um, it's a very scandalous way to get into a relationship. And when you get into a relationship, one that you're happy about and when you're proud about, one that you trust, you, wanna, you don't want scandal to be the foundation of your fucking relationship. Tama. Mm -hmm. Tama. Tama. Don't, don't yeah, that's an awful first step. Don't ever start a relationship where it's already problematic. Don't ever right. do that. You've already started with scandal. Yeah. So let's say you're not going to have a very fruitful relationship with this guy. The days are numbered because as with many, you know, womanizers, it's just, you know, you're just there to ass on the side, girlfriend on the side. I'm going to fuck you every now and then because you're 30 and you're young. But, you know, I have a family and that you, I go home to. You're going to be paranoid for the rest of your relationship from, th from this That's moment right. on. You're going to be scared all the time, wondering where the hell yeah. is he if, if he's... Mm -hmm fooling around somebody else or if he's with his wife or who are you and you're gonna you're gonna wonder if how special you are you're gonna be longing for something that you can't really have that's not really even real and mm. I think I'm longing now oh, diba? yes yeah. you're getting attached that, it, listen it's lose 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 situation like there's not one good thing about this Nothing. and he's fucking old come on man in yeah. the end like, like if you're having sex with this guy guy's 53 you know, oh, wrinkly dick and everything long haul. Once oh, long, but it's going to happen. Long is too many. It doesn't mean that it's not going to happen again. How dare you judge me by my life? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Lee, yeah, go, 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 go. He's the only one winning here, not you. Okay. Exactly. He's the only one winning here. And his kids, when they find out, they will come over and they will fuck you up. Yeah. Lee, if I found out that you did that to my family, to my mom, I would go to your house and I will physically beat you down. And you're not supposed to hit women, but I will whoop your ass. I'm and if I don't, okay, say I can't hit you because I have a standard of not being violent, I will light your house on fire. Because then I, that's, I'm not hitting a woman, I'm burning you. Yeah. you how, wait, where, where do you stay again? Where do you live? Um, Baranyake. Baranyake, right? Then you're 30 years old, right? What kind of cell phone do you have? Five. You should get you should get a uh, pro, uh, an app called Tinder. Yeah, <laughs> damn guys done, damn guys done. That you're probably more worth your time than this fifty three year old. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. Where are where's your family? Where are your parents? I'm in the province. Okay, and I'm uh, living here alone. Yeah. Nah, well, that's yeah. It's okay. All right. All right. Hey, cut it out unless you want shit to come to your life that you don't want. Okay. <laughs> Okay. It's it's gonna it's gonna get tough, and, and again at thirty, I don't know what you want out of your life in terms of relationship. I don't know if you want to have a family one day. I don't know if you want to have children one day. I don't know if you think that there's a biological clock because you're thirty. You know how some women think that, but all of this, you, what you're doing right now, is not leading up to that goal. I don't know what you want though. Maybe you want to be single forever. If you want to be single forever and and all that, you want to be matrona one day. Then then good luck. This is the way to go. But no. if you want a family one day and all of these stuff, well, hey, you are off to a bad start yeah. right now. We you're 30 years old and your behavior. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is awful behavior awful. for a mature woman. Wake up. Wake up. It, it, um, okay. Sayang, sayang time. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, baby. What is, it, what, what is it like fucking a guy who's in his 50s, by the way, when you're young? Is that, is that <laughs> gross? <laughs> no, he's still great in bed. I'm telling you. Okay. Oh, well, don't boast about it anymore. Uh, find, yeah. find another guy. Two hours. I bet I, <laughs> I, bet I, 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 bet called I can Viagra. 
Yeah, I bet I can outfuck him. Yeah, without any medication. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Gucci, I mean, come on, Gucci, you can outfuck a fifty-three-year-old, no, right? No, but he's active. He plays basketball all the time, and he bikes. Wow. And he's young. That's nice to know. Still, you know these guys, <laughs> these guys who are under forty-five years old, fifty years old, like you need to in the gym, man. You know, I gotta keep yeah. myself fit, eh? If four times a week, with the badminton, you know, these guys, they're still wrinkly. I mean, like, okay, yeah, fine, you look good for fifty-three, but you don't look good. And Brad Pitt looks good for fifty-three. Okay. Well, that's different. I mean, yeah. You're talking fucking about one asshole, in a bil- man. Yeah, one in a fucking billions. Yeah. But, you know, you're your garden variety guy who's 53 years old. And then, you know, they're looking for that. Wow. They're like, oh, you're 53. Puta mina, you look so young. Yes. Yeah, but you don't look. Yeah, you don't look 33. You, yeah. yeah, you look young for 53. Mm-hmm. But I can still out fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, either way. All right. Bad situation. Okay. Bad way. situation. Yeah. 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 Don't, right, brag, don't brag about okay. it. Okay. Get you. Yeah, because yeah. it, it, it fuels it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks for the call, man. Have a Thank good one. Thank you. That's the thing. When you're in a bad situation and yeah. you know you're in a bad situation, you're looking, looking for, for one person to just put that fucking shining light on yeah. it. And you're gonna well, continue. he's good in bed. So fuck that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The moment yeah. we said, is he good? Fuck. He's, no, he's great. Yeah, in bed. He's great. In Two fact, hours. <laughs> thanks for bringing it up. I'm gonna fuck him tonight. Exactly. <laughs> Shit. We just we just open that. Get like. Yeah, know. I know. Sincerely, you're you're just looking for any reason <laughs> to continue your shit. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. One thing I really love about music is I get to jam with so many different people. Collaboration comes naturally with musicians. Music should never be a limit or a barrier. It's a bridge. When Yolanda struck, I knew I needed to offer my talents and pitch in. So together with my team, we came up with this idea to do something wonderful for our country. What better way to sort of help out in our own way? We thought of the idea of Unwrap Hope, getting new toys. After a certain date, we bring it all to our walk. I'm excited, but I don't really know what to expect. I just saw one whole one whole area, one whole cargo area full of toys, boxes and boxes of toys. So I am playing Santa Claus. That's what's happening today. I was just really excited just to get out there, seeing all the kids line up. They're very organized and it was just really cute. But I just wanted to go out there and then mingle. Just get, get in, they get in the mix. May gift kami para sa inyo. May mga toys kami para sa mga kids. Sino may gusto ng toys? Yay! Mga kaibigan at mga kapatid namin sa Globe, noon pa man hindi niyo kami iniwanan. Alam ko na babangon uli yung mga Ormocanon. Alam ko na babangon uli ang mga Litenyo. Alam ko na babangon uli sigaw at kalinga. When you're playing the children, I compare it to singing in front of family. It just, it's just an honest thing. They sing along and they scream along and they dance along. And I love that. on the 21st. That's probably the same feeling we would get on when we were kids, you know, 25th morning, Christmas Day. So we're bringing them an early Christmas gift. It goes both ways. That's what the season's all about. It's about, about giving back at this point, Kiba. Right? And uh, what more can I ask for when I do that? You know, when you're supposed to create something different or something special, then you're supposed to just let go, right? You just let go and let it happen, you know? And wherever it takes you, it's not about you anymore. It's, it's something else that's what inhabits you. You were able to create something bigger and better and special. It's a wonderful world with Globe. Please visit www.projectwonderful.ph to learn more. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program here. 
time to wrap it up. I want to thank our good friend, Gucci Lorenzana, for being here. Gucci, yeah. you're heaven sent, my friend. Thanks for being here. Thank bro. you again, Mo. We'd love to have you back. Um, often, I, I, I know that, uh, you know, with the showbiz world and the, the schedules and stuff are kind of difficult, but man, if you can come back, um, more than, like, sooner than you did this last time, we'd love to have you back yeah, again. Yeah, I'd love to. Uh, Ange, go about it. Anytime. I mean, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm just finish, finishing up a movie right now, so I, I'm. Oh, well, yeah. shit, we didn't get to talk about it. What is it? Who's it with? Uh, it's with Piolo. Uh, it's going to be coming out sometime this year. It's, uh, Sounds good. It's called Silong, and that's going to be coming out soon. And then, um, excellent. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing lately. And I have, a, I have gigs, regular gigs with my band, Aminado, and we're going to be performing tomorrow at Craft at the Fort Strip. Fort Strip. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Thanks. And then, yeah. All right. Catch him on Twitter as well at uh, Guji Lorenzana. Yes. Our caller of the night, let's go with. Uh was it Maine, the 18 year old who was thinking about uh, not going to New York because of her boyfriend? We told her she was stupid if she did that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, congratulations, Maine. You're caller of the night. I want to thank Globe for, uh, of course, being our sponsor. It's nice to be back on the podcast. So we'll see you guys tomorrow with Joyce Bring. Um, and yeah, have a great, great evening, everyone. Thanks for all the downloads, all the phone calls, and to the staff. It's such a good job. Of course, again, Guji for being here tonight. Thanks, Anything man. else? Are we out of here? No. Yeah. I think that's it. Here. Thanks again, Mo, and right. thanks to everybody who's listening or watching, too. Cool. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gulata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.